Feeling adventurous? You want to try your hand at making a 3D countdown calendar door hanger? 3D. Multiple, multiple layers. It is 3D. Well, stick around and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder Make It? So do we. And we have new videos each week. So be sure to like, subscribe and tick that bell to be notified of our new videos and you can go like it like right now yeah just like you click that button real wait. quick christmas is right around the corner and it's time to start giving it a countdown i need a mechanism to measure that time <laughs> we did a countdown calendar a few years ago but we did it with a cricket and it was really cute i still have it but now i need to make a laser version and i started thinking about what it is that we could do and of course i want to do it in that door hanger style because you know that's kind of our thing we make <laughs> door hangers so i had an idea and i needed to show garrett what i had in my head Step one, we're gonna create our design. Kim told me what she wanted. She tried to use words, but I'm not a word guy. I asked her to draw it somewhere, yes. starting with the whiteboard. Yeah, so the, our first uh, draft of this was on the whiteboard and I was like, here, draw a circle and put some numbers on the outside, like a clock would go all the way to 24. So we got, th we got the basics up there. He kind of got the concept. And then he said, now, give me something more detailed. Give me something with more details in it so I know exactly what you're looking for. And I already knew, so I, I was good with that. Cause I knew that I wanted this cute little elf that I had seen in Canva. If you've been in Canva and looked at any of the Christmas stuff, there's this cute little elf climbing a ladder and I knew I wanted him on this design. So I sketched out kind of what was in my head and this is what it looks like. Well, I understood from there what she was looking for. So I then took it into Illustrator and I tried to mock up what I thought she was thinking based on what she said and the picture that she helped me with. If you're interested in learning more about how to design in Adobe Illustrator, we do a monthly Zoom class for our top tier patron members. Once we got the design down to what I think Kim wanted, I ran it back past the boss so she could do her last font tweaking. <laughs> I did, I tweaked the fonts and I mean, I did say, I did say this seems like a lot, you know, is this, how big is this kit? Oh, don't worry, Kim, it'll be good. Step two, time to make all of our cuts. First, I need to break up our design and make it an actual cut file. This is where I take apart the design, I make the layers, and I actually create it where the red lines are the cut lines, the blue lines are the score lines, and everything filled with black is engraved. Now for this particular cut file, to bring that cut time down from one hour and 53 minutes down to one hour and one minute, I rasterized all of the engraved things. I actually turned them into pictures and they were engraved like a picture. And he goes into more detail of the difference between an SVG and a rasterized image in the Adobe Illustrator classes. So you can join us over in Patreon for those monthly Zoom calls. I have some quarter inch MDF and some eighth inch MDF. I want some uh, different levels in this thing. And I don't want it to get too heavy using nothing but quarter inch. Yeah. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna throw them on our big 100 watt laser and try to get this cut done quickly. Time to paint. I don't currently have the kit in front of me right now. Kim hasn't seen it. So <laughs> he, I'm hasn't gonna... let, he hasn't let me see it. Which means it's overkill. I can I already know. I already know. I think it's just enough kill. <laughs> let me go get it. I don't judge by the stack. <laughs> the fact that you had to use the word stack concerns me. Well, don't be concerned because I cut two of them. I did an eighth inch version and a full quarter inch version. Because I wasn't sure what I wanted, how deep. <laughs> so, what do you think? I think, I think there are a lot of pieces and I see single individual lights, which worry me. 
but this ladder's looking super cute. Yeah, I mean, I think when it comes together easily, you won't have those fears anymore. Okay. I printed a picture to help us put it back together. Yeah, and just slow that down a little bit. Just get that close for a second. Just give them a moment to absorb all that you have on there. It's got some detail to it. It's got, I'm not gonna lie, it's got some things. So here's what I here's what I know already. This isn't gonna be one of those signs that you make and take to the craft show. No, this is passion. This is, this is for your the love of the game. This is uh, right for your grandkids or your kids. This is like family heirloom. This will be passed down. There's so much detail in this. Yeah, I'm, it's gonna it be, be passed down. I'm not putting that much effort into something that's yes. fly by night. Yeah, nope, that's not fly by night. No, this thing better be up. Let's do it. Let's let's get this thing painted. And we'll decide as we go along, eighth or quarter. Yep, that's what I think. I think we want to mock it up and see. We'll start with the backer here. Okay. See how this design looks? Yes. All right. Here's the ring, the ringleader right here. Here's the bottom of that frame piece. All right, and the whole rest of the frame is right here. Check it. Oh, this is... Boom. See, all in piece. I see some cut lines on that Christmas tree. Yep. So you can take it apart and paint the two separate colors. This is where I think we should start using. Uh huh. Here comes some eighth, eighth inch because that's too tall. Those are going to be eighth. I think we'll do those in eighth. Yeah, I love this so far. <laughs> now that I put it together. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> He said this one's for the passion. I'm going to give you see some passion. This is, this is for the passion. Right now, I'm sitting a lot of... Uh, There's a lot of passion in this one. <laughs> a lot of uh, anger in some of the decisions that were made. It's, it's so passion, this one. This one's like beyond passion. Oh yeah, come take a peek at that thing. There you go. Well, it's not done yet. No. <laughs> that was just the presence. Um, I'll leave this bow out. We don't need it. That might be overkill. Where would that even go? <laughs> Alright, there you go. What do you think? Not too bad, right? Um, yeah. For this project, we used Cussing Crimson for the backer. We painted our words in Ash Avenger White. The ring for the numbers is painted in Foxy Tail Tie. And then our little elves are painted in Apple Raid Green, Great Escape Green, and Cussing Crimson. At the top, we've painted our billboard for our countdown in Pinecone Path and Whack Bat Wood. We painted our Christmas tree in two shades of green. We're using the Moles Meadow and the Great Escape. We've also painted our lights in Midnight Bandit Mask, as well as Great Escape Green, Cunning Cobalt, Apple Stars. We've painted our ladder using Pinecone Path. And then our presents are a combination of Foxy Tail Tie, Cussing Crimson, Apple Stars, Bogus Blue, and Great Escape Green. Our Foxy Hughes outdoor craft paints are perfect for these door hangers. They'll be outside and exposed to the elements. These paints are UV resistant, weather resistant, mold resistant. They're gonna be perfect to hang outdoors and use year after year. Step four, time to bring it all together with a little Starbond Thick and everything will hold in place. But before we start gluing, I wanna give this ring with all the numbers on it a quick little sand. Since we painted the ring, but we didn't paint the spacer, I wanna make sure I still have enough room to slide. To roll smooth. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a quick once around, maybe twice around. That's in the trash. <laughs> yes, we should have had our masks on. Should you should wear your mask. Yeah, wear a mask. This was dusty. Alright, back to dust free. 
put the ring down and glue everything around it. Starting from the backer, working our way up, just layering things. It's pretty easy. Right, and remember you're not gonna glue the ring because the ring is what's going to rotate. Yeah, don't glue the ring or that's how many days away it is. Forever. Until Christmas, always, <laughs> forever. crazy with the accents because the sign is already crazy in itself. So I'm just thinking an understated ribbon hanger. Yeah. Just gonna that's, all, that's all we're gonna add. Throw some ribbon in these two ribbon slots at the top. Call it a day. Nothing crazy. This is already too, too much. All right, let me just quickly put this on and then we're gonna wrap up and tell you, tell you some things about this project. Let's see if it, it spins too. There's been no spin testing. Really? I lied, I tried it already. I was gonna say, I can tell you I spin tested it. <laughs> Can't just wait when you're sitting here. Yeah, every piece mm. I glued down, I wanna make sure I didn't glue the ring. <laughs> Bam, look at that. Right. Spin test, look at this. Look at there. What day is it? How many days away are we? 23 days until Christmas. 23 days till Christmas. I like it. I like it a lot. I love that it spins, and I love how the spinning mechanism is almost incognito. Yeah. You really you only would've... see it on the sides, and uh -huh. you kind of don't, don't even pay attention to it. There's so much going on. You, well, I'll tell you, so let me tell you the adventure this sign has been. <laughs> Let's let's recap. Let's do a recap. Recap. What is the cut time? The cut time is now one hour and one minute. What is the paint time? The paint time was also like one hour. Uh, for the two of us. For two of two people painting, one hour. One hour, and then the it glue was... time was also thirty minutes. No, I would say it was more than that. Well, the camera ran out at thirty minutes. So I would say we were closer to forty-five minutes. I would almost say. It was an hour to assemble it. I think so. Yeah, it was, so, this is a beast. It's, right, I mean, but look at it. Yeah. it. There's so much to it. It is beautiful. I think it's So worth it. if you're adventurous and you like to craft things and you're willing to take on an advanced project, which is what this is. Oh, this is totally an advanced project. This is an like advanced simply because, level. Because it's so many pieces. Not because it was difficult to put together. The score marks are there. Yeah. It's it's pretty obvious where the pieces go. I didn't have any questions. Yeah, I, I think you confused. need to be an expert painter. You do need to be an expert puzzle piece putter together. Well, and that's where I'm saying not necessarily because I was able to stack them and you can, you can see so. yeah. where everything goes. I didn't have any questions on the presents. I could see how they stacked one on top of the other to give them the depth that they have. So, you know, we will make this kit available in our store so that you can put this together. So if you have a laser, we're gonna offer the SVG so you can cut one and make it yourself. Or if you do not have a laser and you're willing to take on, you know, a group project. <laughs> this is like one of the, this, oh, you this have to be one of those great people. to do with the kids. <laughs> right, you gotta get everybody involved. Put them little hands to work. <laughs> Give them each some pieces to paint and put this thing together and then you'll have it. I mean, I love it. I think it is, look how cool this is. I was really skeptical once we put the tops and the bottoms on with those presents, would this thing spin? You can see how well it's spinning. I am not struggling with it at all. I'm very impressed And I think it'll hold up here. to the, the door test. Yes. 
You don't see that ring all flop, flip flopping around. Yeah, front door, indoors. Yep. This really will work either either location. Yeah. I'm I'm impressed. I love it. You did a great job. You did a great job. That was a uh, that was really took some thought to get this get thing out to 3D. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we're about out of time. So big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. We're gonna throw this file up there on Patreon like right now so that they already have access to it free with all their files, all the files that we've done. We do a monthly Zoom call and a super secret Facebook group that's got a ton of information in it. It's not just us, it's our, it's our whole Patreon family yeah. contributing, yeah. yeah, so. I am I am really about out of time. I gotta go hang this thing and start tracking when things coming. Start counting down, that's right. I gotta right. start the countdown because this thing's got great little corners on it. And give it a quick little balance. Ooh, ooh. Well, let's see if I can balance it and change the day. Yes. What day is it? <laughs> Literally, it says zero days, so Christmas. <laughs> Tear!